Hello, I'm Adam and welcome. That's how the battery looks like. This is very, very, very important topic. If you don't want to let your scooter take a fire, you should uh, listen carefully. <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay, uh, so this is the battery. And uh, if I will find some uh, screenshots where I was building it, I will share it. Uh, how it's uh, built. There we can see there are five cells. One, two, three, four, five. And there are three up. That means it's uh, uh, 15 cells. Uh, it's connected in three as 5P. That means uh, three are uh, serial as five is parallel. Parallel gives us uh, same voltage but uh, more capacity and uh, amps. Uh, serial gives us more voltage. In this case we've got 3, so 3 times uh, 4.2 gives us 12.6 uh, in total. And uh, by adding it to the, of course by adding it uh, in serial connection to the main battery gives us uh, 22 plus uh, 12 voltage uh, and it gives us fully charged 54 voltage in total, yeah? And uh, how uh, is it built? There is a main uh, battery output. There is a cable to charge the battery. And there is a Bluetooth module. Yes, it got Bluetooth. And there we can see there is a BMS. And you must have a BMS in your battery. But uh, what's more? I suggest you buying a smart BMS for your battery. Those are quite expensive compared to really cheap and uh, I'm not recommending the cheapest one. For a few dollars you can buy standard hardware BMS but don't do that. Buy smart BMS because this is the only one thing what protects you from a fire film from your battery. Okay and uh, What's more, Smart BMS gives you a lot of uh, settings that we can set. And uh, let's go through the options. Okay, and uh, another part of the puzzle is uh, the connector, which is connecting two batteries. And that's how it looks like. Uh, it has to be slim. <laughs> and uh, this thing... Uh, there is one battery, there is second battery, it's connected in serial, so the minus plus minus plus. And there is output for the accumulated voltage. And uh, those things are just my invention. Uh, because uh, there we are connecting the, the controller. And there is uh, additional output, for example, for GPS locator or something. So uh, I just made it like this. There is uh, one very, very important thing. This is main b uh, battery output. That's how it looks. This is controller input. And uh, this is additional battery output. Yeah. Uh, this thing uh, combines them, yeah, uh, to achieve uh, more voltage, so it's connecting to serial. But as we can see, we can connect, uh, for example, let's take this off. We can connect the main battery there, and we can connect battery there. In both connectors, it will t it will work, but. Uh, we need to connect this battery uh, in that way this minus will be the main minus fall for uh, the controller so as we can see uh, the minus has uh, this curved uh, connector so the minus is on this side and is on this side yeah and uh, if we connect it like this, we can see that uh, the minus goes to plus. 
So uh, this is incorrect one. This is this is incorrect place because when we connect uh, the connector like this, we can see that the minus goes directly to this uh, plug where the connector goes, and we can see. Now it's really easy to see. There is a minus, and this minus is going to minus on the connector. You have to do it like this because uh, now uh, when we've got connected the BMS data, this cable, uh, the ground is uh, correct. And you won't fry your BMS. <laughs> and you will have uh, BMS data like uh, normal, on like normal scooter, yeah? And uh, yeah, because, and of course the second battery should be there and it will would work so just keep in mind that yeah okay and another thing if uh, we are talking about uh, higher speeds is uh, that uh, we need a suspension and uh, in my case i am mounting a monorim suspension on the front and in the default uh, monorim uh, a suspension there is some kind of this uh, it's not suspension it's, it's just screw inside yeah it's uh, oh, it's terrible and uh, there are two types of them and uh, this type which has a screw which has a spring inside and you select uh, between two springs because each spring is for different weight and there is another uh, suspensions uh, which I couldn't find, which I couldn't find. I'm showing you right now the picture. And uh, both are uh, junk, to be honest. Uh, you should buy a, a air suspension exa foam like this, and uh, with two chambers, and you can precisely select how. Uh, how the suspension should work yeah uh, this one is not okay for a little bit uh, a bigger guys <laughs> because uh, the spring is uh, i don't know it was from 70 to 90 kilograms and uh, from 90 to 120 but to be honest it's not working good on, at about 100 kilograms uh, the bigger one is adjustable uh, when you can just screw it and it will be stronger but uh, the bigger one is really loud because there is no damper inside and uh, it's li really loud on each dump yeah so anyway the air suspension wins unfortunately it's expensive about 30 dollars per uh, one suspension and uh, yeah but it's worth. I'm not showing the video of uh, mounting the uh, monorim front suspension because there are so many videos uh, showing it uh, pro this process uh, really uh, better than me. <laughs> yeah, okay, so thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye!